Hello, and welcome to episode 17 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. So I'm just getting some resources cooked up here. We left off last time, we had got the uh, assembly line set up, and we were able to uh, make the PCBs quicker, and I cooked up a whole bunch of transistors and capacitors. And uh, I think we already had a few of the finished ones, maybe somewhere. Maybe not. I kind of thought we did. Doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm doing is getting some stuff together. The next thing we need to think about is we're going to need more power. Uh, and there's many ways we could do it. Um, I could build more TNT generators. The problem is I've been watching and we're kind of steady on the gunpowder, kind of going down. If I think if I build a third one, we'll definitely be going down. Uh, so I don't really want to do that. So I want to come up with something new. And what I think we're going to do is build um, a certain thing, a uh, dynamo, and it takes a uh, liquid and a solid. And for the liquid, we're going to do mob essence. And we need mob essence for other things anyway, so it's time to build a grinder. And I was looking up the recipe for a drum and getting stuff together for that too, because we got to have somewhere to put the mob essence. So I need some tin and some plastic and some books and uh, some paper. Oh, I don't think I have any paper. Uh, I did cook up some leather. You cook the um, zombie flesh and get leather. Let me uh, gather all this stuff up and then we'll crack this. I think I've got everything together here that we're going to need. Let's find out. I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to make a bunch of those. So we'll need more plastic. Gonna keep making more. That's plenty though. We only need one. Uh, then we're gonna make this. And then we're gonna make this. No, we're not. What am I missing? Glass, Envar, Electrum. Oh, maybe because it doesn't stack. I can never remember what. Did I just do that? No. I can never remember uh, the ones that you have to shift click or uh, not shift click. There we go. Machine frame. Need to make an Invar sword. Need to make two ten gears. We need to make this. Um, what am I missing now? Gold and oh, I only have one redstone. Let's get plenty. And two books. That should be everything. Yeah, and you can't do that one because of the sword. Two gears, two plastic, a coil, two books. There's my books. And we did something wrong, huh? Machine frame. Book, redstone, reception. Redstone, book. Oh, 347? Hmm. I got those from the city, I think. Maybe I have to make books. Let's see, I've got my leather. Okay, let me go get some sugar cane. Yeah, if you look here, it's a different book. I'm not sure what we can do with these other ones. Maybe nothing. Let's get rid of them. And go with our new books. And there we go. So the grinder. So it does a 5x5 five five area in front of it, and we're going to do this, and what we're going to do is we're going to take out those spikes and put the grinder in, and they're still going to take fall damage though. So I collected a bunch of cobwebs when I was in the city, just for this purpose, and uh, so we'll put some cobwebs up there and break these things out and get the grinder in. Um, probably going to put the grinder here. Like so, and then we're going to have to hook into power. Oh, does this run all the way under here, doesn't it? We can go here, maybe. Yeah, like that. Um, I'm going to need some more stuff. Let me uh, clear my inventory out here real quick. We've got one more thing to make before we get started here. I want to get some barrels. Um, let's do two total. And we've got to make four of these. One, two, three, eight, four. And we should be able to make two barrels. Drums. Why do I call them barrels? These are barrels. Those are drums. 
Um, okay, so I got this cleared out here, and we're going to put the barrels somewhere. I'd like to set them on top. Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's try it. We can give that a shot. Um, got my energy conduit here. And I guess we'll just continue this main line. Down. And connected. So that's going to be running here pretty quick. And I've got a chest for the back. Let's, um, I think I've got, lost my floor. That's okay. Let's do that. Now that's the wrong stuff. It doesn't matter. We'll fix the floor later. Uh, so we got that running. Now the next thing I want to do real quick... Oh, wait. I didn't want to fill it under there anyway. I've got to put this in. There we go. That's probably not going to get a chance to kill anything. Uh, that's okay. What we want to do next is I want to set up... Let's see, let's do it under Mob Grinder. And we're going to set up a liquid input and output, and we're going to set that to send the Mob Essence. I'm having trouble clicking on the little square. We're going to send the Mob Essence from the grinder, because it has an internal tank. Oh, I didn't touch the grinder with it, did I? I need, um, there's probably several ways I could do this. All right, let me think about this. I'm going to try it without a chest and see if it can pull the items out. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, so, again, we're going to do the grinder. That's our liquid input. Target down, sure. Liquids, blacklist. Output, tanks. We're going to go to the drum. And there should be two that are empty. That's the one nice thing, is it shows you what's in it. So it's easy to find. And we're going to do target up, and we're going to do blacklist. So we won't know if this works yet, because there's nothing in there. And I'm going to do another trigger. And I'm going to do an item input. And we're going to try to pull the items out of the grinder. Don't know 100% that this will work. And let's send it, I'd like to send it to that other barrel, or that other chest outside. Let me check what that is real quick. Just because this one's all set up to do everything, if I could get out the door. So we are at 219, negative 186. And that was a gold chest. 219, can't see... No. First shot. Uh, target up. Sure. Blacklist. And this was blacklist. Yes. So we're still not going to know if that works yet because the fall damage and the spikes. So the spikes are easy to get rid of. I want to put in the cobwebs. I'd like to do this without having to shut off the mob grinder. That could be a little interesting. Let me use cobble, not use up my good stone. I'm hoping I can reach across here. And let me think, one, two, three, yeah, that'll be enough. Try to put this back real quickly before I get shot with an arrow. Okay. And the next thing that's going to be a little challenging is to try and get rid of these spikes. Which I'd like to get down here to do it. I think it might be a little more successful. We'll just replace it with smooth stone. I don't think he's going to explode. Let's, um, I don't know that the grinder's working. It might have gotten itself stuffed on items. Oh, and I can't even click on it either. Yeah. I hate to do this, but 
Yeah, it's stuffed, I bet. So, yep, see, there you go. We're going to have to put the chest back. And, yeah, now it's going to be killing them. We're going to have to bring the... Steve's factory cable up next to it. And I'm one short, which is, of course, always the case. So let me get one more cable, and then we'll finish what we started. And one cable later. Okay. So, and then that one's still on it. We're collecting items. Let's redo this real fast. So we're broke on both of them. That's fine. We'll see the grinder again, thanks to this side. Why don't we see the grinder? Do I have a weird corner here I don't realize? Yeah, I bet I do. I bet I do. Yep, that's the problem. They look like they're connected, but as I explained a long time ago in some other episode, you can't have the corner piece missing, because there's no connection then. Alright, so... We should be... Oh, look at that. So we know that works. Excellent. And of course we know the chest is going to work. We just have to find that gold chest, which I did not look to see what it was. It's, a lot of times it's the last one. So let's see. 235. Negative 187. Well, we'll know if it's empty, right? And it's not. Okay, so... 222, negative 188. Who knows what we've caused by picking the wrong chest. 222, negative 188. Let's go see. That should definitely be empty now. And it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the vacuum hopper hooked up in there because sometimes the grinder will kill people and there'll be certain things that it won't pick up. So what we're going to do is try to move over to the middle here and do this. And if I get lucky, I can do this without dying and letting all the mobs out. I'm going to have to move the vacuum hopper up, though, if we're going to keep it. There we go, and put this back, just to make it look pretty, even though it's going to be buried in dust. Oh, and it made it dark in there now. Um, okay. We're going to have to... Come here. Oh, I just spun it funny. Yep, got it. Okay. That should suck that in. I don't know why it wouldn't. Let's, uh, don't have a piece of dust. Okay. I just want to fill this in. Oh, I can't because the light's down there. That's fine. That's still running good. Let's go fix the vacuum hopper situation. Okay, so that should, minus a few pieces of cobble that needs put back in to make it look nice, that should have upgraded us, so they're going to drop, they're going to hit the cobweb, they're going to slow down and then fall, and it's three high, so they can all fit in there. The grinder's going to kill them and make mob essence, and it's going to get most of the drops. The vacuum hopper's there, just in case those those other occasional drops. And I've got two drums down here, so we're going to be able to store a lot of mob essence, and I can add some more drums, because you definitely don't want to get to the point where you're not capturing the mob essence and you're losing it. So what are we going to do with the mob essence? Well, we are going to make a reactant dynamo. There we go. That's going to take some brass, or bronze, which I think we have a little bit of bronze. And another thing, and transmission coil, which is silver. 
And I'm thinking, what's in the quest book? There was one up here. I don't think that that was... No, it is! The Reactant Dynamo. Excellent. And the Grinder. So maybe we were supposed to do this a long time ago, uh, but we're definitely going to make it now. Let me clear my inventory and get all that stuff. Oh, so this is fun. Um, I went to get the uh, printed circuit board out of the pneumatic craft chest, and it was empty. So, yeah, that was that other chest I picked. We sent it all up front. Awesome. So I'm just going to clean this up and then get the stuff we need, which is where I started at. That should be everything I need to make two of these. Let's find out. Two of those. And two of these. And four of these. And then I'm pretty sure that won't do that. Yep. Correct. And... We'll do this. Of course, we'll only be able to do one of those. Two of those. Two, one, two, one, two. No, nope, that wasn't two. There's one, and there's two. Okay. And we've got some power conduits somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Because I just had it and put it away. There we go. So those don't have to go downstairs in the basement with all the explosions, we could put these anywhere. Um, they need to be by Steve's factory manager, which is also down here, and it's also up there, and, you know, the conduit. The thing about putting it down here is we'd be able to hook in below and help charge those. I don't really want to be down here. Um, problem is, I don't want to come down here. If I had just another floor up there, let me build that, a little drop down there. I've got a little floor going down here. I had to pillar up, and I should have been taking the uh, elevator with me. I still get hurt a little bit here, uh, so we're still a little... Oh, you know what? That's not where the elevator is. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Take two. Get the elevator, go up. Go back down. Yes, the elevator is in the middle. And put our floor back in. Awesome. I'm just doing good here. Doing real good. Okay. So we need Steve's factory manager and we need the power cable. Let's do this. We'll kind of be set up to have three of them, maybe. So that's good. And we'll need these. Let's just go here. Oh, I really hate when it does that, just because it looks funny. It doesn't matter. It's just, I don't like it. Hopefully. <sighs> don't like it. There you go. Okay. And we got space for another one. So what this thing is going to do, we've got to send it... Uh, mob essence, and then we've got to send it uh, some kind of material, which I know we can do gunpowder. Um, I think we can do blaze powder. 500. We're definitely nowhere near blaze production wise, so probably let's. Um, did it blow a hole out there? No, that's correct, right? Yeah, I'm not used to seeing that little hole missing. Like, oh, they got out. Um, yes. 14. Not a lot. Um, let's see here. We're going to do a new command group. Let me just do this off camera. Okay, I think... I've already got this working because I already verified it. I think this is going to work. Um, we had 16. We're down to 9. So I already came over and checked and it sent the mob essence in. And it did not send the gunpowder. Hmm. Let me double check what I did. Input, and I did all barrels, because gunpowder's in a barrel. Target down, which is correct for barrels. Blacklist, it can get anything. Reactant dynamos. Target up. Let's try target down. Whitelist, and I did gunpowder. That should work. I'm not, oh yeah, it's working. How much do these make? I don't even know. 
80. Okay, so that'll be two more 80s on gunpowder. Which, what I, from what I understand, yeah, it's like, I said I couldn't add another one down there because we don't have enough gunpowder. Now I added two more that burn gunpowder. But because it also uses mob essence, I think it makes a lot more power per gunpowder. I'm wondering... These won't tell me how much they're making, will they? It says 80, but I don't think it's actually putting out 80. I am going to disconnect these. It looks like because the only thing we're drawing power on um, is the pulverizer, which is using 20, and then I'm not sure how much this thing uses. Of course, it only uses it when it kills something, I believe. Should have more mobs in there. Where's all my mobs at? We always had mobs in there before. Yeah, it's slowing down now. 26, so there's your 20 and 6 and 4. Okay. Let me go up again. Okay. We're getting kills. It just seemed like it was a little... I guess we could go up and check. One thing I've never shown on camera, and you might have noticed it possibly, is we had that ladder up there. I actually added elevators. And the elevators can only go 20, so there's an elevator every 20. And this one happens to land right up here. Yeah, I mean, everything looks fine. I thought maybe something blew a hole in the roof. Okay. I'm going to monitor this for a minute, and then we'll be back. So we're doing good on uh, power, because uh, the mob essence keeps going up, even though I've got two of those running. So I think that's going to be a lot more efficient than burning gunpowder in the TNT generators. I have noticed a bit of a thing here, the mobs stop and slowly come down, and then the, gets in range of the grinder and it kills them. So I'm thinking, we don't even need them to drop through the cobwebs. Now I'm going to lose those cobwebs up there when I do this. And I'm going to lose that stuff. Thanks. Give me my stuff back. Don't need a wrench. But I think maybe we'll just do it one up. I want to make sure it's high enough that we don't worry about them dying when they hit the ground. But I want them to fall and be in range of the grinder so the grinder can kill them faster. Because the faster you can kill them, you know, there's a limit to how many mobs you can have spawned. And I don't know that we're reaching it. Probably we're not. But I want to know we're not because when the mobs spawn, we kill them as fast as we can. This will be a little tricky. This is not the right tool. I need like a sword maybe. Oh, there you go. Okay. And it took... No, wait. Do I have that? No, it took it. So they should drop and be in range already. And there it is. Clean this up. Okay, I'm going to just stand here and monitor this for a minute and make sure this is looking good. I probably could have put him on the bottom, but we'll see. I think this is fine. Because see, look how he dropped so fast. Almost seemed like he fell through, but I don't know. All right, did I miss a square? One, no, sure looks like there's nine. Okay, let me monitor this for a minute. I've been watching this for a while. It looks like we're doing good there. Uh, the mob essence is going up quite a bit. I've been watching this too. 
I think it's going up. I'm going to have to watch it over a longer period, but I think it's going up, uh, which is fine because those things aren't running at full power. They're running at a uh, much slower speed. So there's one more thing. I really want to get some more of those because we had two things that could do 80, and now we have two things that can do 80. So we haven't actually increased our power. We're just more efficient. So I want some more of those. The thing is I need more bronze. Uh, instead of making it out in the smeltery, which I can, it's, you know, no problem, but I really want to make another thermal expansion machine, which is the induction smelter. And it's just going to be easier than going outside and messing with the big smeltery. And that won't stack, right? Someday. I'll remember that things don't stack. Probably not. And some Electrum and some Invar. And we have a machine frame. Okay, and I don't have a bucket. Do I have any bucket? I don't want to use my only bucket. We'll make another bucket. Oh, I don't have enough iron to make... Oh, wait. Is that iron over here? Yeah, okay. Like, wow, I don't have enough iron to make a bucket. That's bad. And that's not going to stack. Oh, I never made this either way. Yes, yes. Induction smelter. Let's clear this thing out. So you can put two things in and it turns it into one, which is what we want to do when we make bronze, which is, let me see, it's, um, I can figure it out this way too. Copper and tin. So what's that? Three copper or four? Four copper? No, I think it's three copper and one tin. Do I have any copper? I don't know. I've got one copper. Let's just get a bunch of copper and tin. Tin, copper. Um, so let's see, we said three to one. Let's do six and two. Well, we'll find out. It'll be obvious. Three to one. Okay, so how many do I really need? Eight. I used quite a bit, didn't I? Um, let me try to add this up and cook this off camera, because we're getting close to the end, I think, and I want to finish this build here and do a quest, because I think we've got a quest to turn in. Cooked up a whole bunch more, and we've got enough to make two more, and some conduit. And I think, did I have any more factory cable? I Probably just put this in weird for now. Let's see what we got here. Put that guy there. It does guess I really hate to do that and put him in the front. That kind of bothers me. One, two, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let me go get some more factory cable. Finish putting that cable in so we can go down this wall now. Just I want to be able to get in so I can click on things and see what's going on. So this will be real simple to add to the Steve's Factory Manager, and we'll have four. And they should kind of just um, all slow down together. So now they should have liquid, and... Now they should have that. Of course, these are going to be at full power because they're trying to fill up. I think I can click on that one. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we should have quite a bit more power now, which is good because we're going to need it. And I'll keep monitoring the mob essence and, uh, yeah, 47. Of course, it just sent 128 there, so that's no big deal. Um, so we should also have a quest to turn in. Uh, this one, claim reward. I guess I get them all. And there's just one left. Glacial Precipitator, huh? Um, let's just make this... Well, wait, I don't think I have any more. Oh, I used all my PCBs, which means we'd have to make more capacitors, which we just have to get... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so... No, we're not going to do that. Um, I think we've reached a good wrapping up point then. Maybe we'll sneak that in on the next episode. Um, 
because I'm not going to go through all that just for one thing. Uh, so we've got a good source of power now. What we've got to do is we've got to make some more of those. Wow, I already used them all. Um, I need a whole bunch more plastic. i got to cook that up and make some more capacitors and transistors and yada, yada, yada. And then we'll be able to make some more machines. What are we going to do? Ah, man, I think we're getting real close here to uh, actually going outside and putting in my pulverizers and getting our resources set up to where these things just start filling up and we're just flooding with resources. So I think that's where we're actually going to be next episode, which I probably talked about doing that uh, like on episode five. So I think we're actually going to get there. So that's what we're going to work on next time. I will see you then.